across the nation, inventors from all walks of life are putting everything they have on the line. There's a lot at stake. This is my dream. In pursuit of the next million dollar idea. Yes! Anthony Sully Sullivan has spent the last 15 years as a TV pitchman. Anthony Sullivan. Anthony Sullivan. Anthony Sullivan here. Selling over a billion dollars worth of products. Here's how to order. Now Sully's going to help everyday inventors with great ideas go from rags to riches. <laughs> this is our future. And he'll do it by any means necessary. See you, Sully! On this episode of Pitchmen, an inventor creates a revolutionary new way nice. to catch a fish. Oh, 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 we got some fish. A track coach from Detroit invents a device to save his best friend's life. He made it out of love. Oh, my man. Love, man. And Sully pushes a new product to its breaking point. I see a lot of practical products, inventions that solve common problems every single day. The world's easiest pattern dispenser, you push the dispensing mechanism and out comes a pre-measured portion of your powder. I invented Illuminized compact, lighted reading glasses. We're always getting pitched serious products and every now and then a fun product will come across my desk and it'll sell for no particular reason. Who doesn't love a good snowball fight? Now you can have it anytime, anywhere. It's a fleecy, fluffy ball, can be thrown all over the place. Cinema Sack is a six foot frameless love seat. No springs, no hard wooden frame. I came up with a better idea, the party purse. You can keep your ID here, you can keep your key, your money, and for those who are a little less, uh, a little shyer, you can keep it down here. You look at it and you go, why did somebody invent this? And why am I holding it in my hand? And why do I like it? And why am I gonna pay for it? Because it's fun. It's just good, clean fun. In Sully's continuing search for a fun hit, he teams with Kennedy and Billy Mays III for another all-day pitchathon. Your name is, you are from, and your invention is? I'm Michelle. This is my sister, Melissa. We're from Chicago and our invention is send a ball. And what send a ball is, is a fully inflated greeting card that is a greeting card and a gift in one. The address and the postage go right on the ball. So it mail ships mail. just like this? Ships yeah, just like exactly that. Like and it's that. just getting it. It wouldn't fit in a mailbox though, right? It's the same as you get a package. <laughs> They probably get so mad when they get a No, the mail, the actually, they don't they get mad. Don't. They love it. Most what if you send, like, five to the same place? You don't. You don't well, do, you that. Why would you do that. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? It's 100 bucks. That's kids. too much. How much is cell phone? $20. 20 bucks for a ball, though? 20 yeah, bucks? It's $14.99 plus shipping and handling. What? It should be $12.99, including shipping. you got to stamp it. This is not a TV commercial. There is something virally in here. There's some kind of campaign you could do where it's just, you pay it forward. Mm -hmm. Balls, 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 balls. But you, you know, I'm a little disappointed. I thought you had more ball jokes I'll think by now. I'll think of something. <laughs> Next. It was a great experience. We yeah. this. We're really you nervous. Know, something's gonna come out of it. We're, we're we believe. Yeah. We do. Good afternoon. My name is Roger Jackson. I'm the inventor of the does all. I'll let it speak for itself. It crushes everything from the neck down, breaks the spine. The same containers that are in there are now in that. Is there like anything else it could do? Like what else could you smash with it? Did you ever that, see that scene in Casino when they put the guy's head in a vice? Hi, my name's Matthew Bondi, and you've probably never seen or heard of what I'm about to show you, so watch the magic. This is Matty Mac, the first ever silicone coated, nylon reinforced, high chair floor mat and utility mat that makes it fun and easy to feed and change the little ones again. And you don't have to worry about standing your carpet or expensive hardwood floors. And you won't be on your hands and knees picking up sticky food or anything else the little one throws on the floor. Here's how to order. Nice pitch. But why not just use a towel? Well, towels, uh, obviously, you have to wash. And you don't want to take it with you. If you eat at a nice restaurant, or even a You're really crappy one. You're gonna break out a day-glow orange mat. Okay. You Maybe either have to leave a really big tip or you have to humiliate yourself picking things up if you're a decent person. 
Like I said, nothing sticks to this. One guy bought them specifically because he throws his big muddy boots in the in the truck. And if it's raining, you could throw it over your head. Right? Absolutely. So it's for crafters, it's for mechanics. You make this the, the, the nothing stick mat, I say we investigate it further. Great projection. Nice pitch. Thank you. It was a little reminiscent of uh, this legendary pitch fan I once knew. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be a fantastic thing for them to pick up. Hopefully they'll see it that way and, and give me a call back. My name is Eric Thompson. My name is Denar Bailey. I'm the inventor and I'm the inspiration. And what we have here is the lightning, lightning rod. rod. What does it do? Well, my friend here, Denard, um, was on his deathbed a little bit, I know. He flatlined for two minutes. Denard's weight and poor eating habits resulted in heart failure. When I found out, his doctor had told him that uh, if he wants to live, he has to lose the weight. So he said, Eric, can you make something for me? So I said, well, let me see what I can put together. So what I use is simply a pole that creates leverage. The further the pole goes out, the more the resistance grows. Can we see how it works? Sure. I use it to do certain movements just like this. And it's working on my core. Can you do this one as well? Oh, yeah. absolutely. We call that the kayak. Simulates like you're on the water. Just kayaking from the city, so we don't have rivers like that. Best friends and business partners, Eric Thompson and Denard Bailey, live in Detroit, Michigan. For them, the lightning rod's life altering story began with Eric's inventive nature. When I was a little kid, I used to take things apart. Just an inventor by heart, by nature, it's what I do. You have a lot of people who come up with a eureka moment. I have eureka moments in my sleep. And it was a eureka moment that helped save his best friend when Denard's reckless diet threatened his life. I was hospitalized because of my weight and because of the breathing and, and, and not being able to uh, function properly because of being overweight. The doctor pretty much gave me an ultimatum, lose weight or die. Um, I couldn't tell Eric that, so my mother told Eric. He had checked out and they brought him back. And uh, it dawned on me, this is, my, this is my best friend. So Eric went to work on inventing something even his best friend could embrace. I soon realized that everything was a little bit of a struggle because of his weight. So I had to come up with simple ways to make him move his body. Once I got out of the hospital and Eric said, let's start working out, I said, okay, you know, I was expecting, uh, well, you finna put me on the treadmill. Oh, uh, here we go again. But he said, I want you to try something, Dart. I came up with this, and I had you in mind when I did it. So he gave me the lightning bolt, and I put it in my hands, and immediately I was like, whoa. Once I began using it, a difference took place immediately. Squat down, knees bent. I was able to feel the results right away. Sweat just started pouring. My heart rate increased, and it stayed at a rate that enabled me to begin to lose weight. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. The secret to the lightning rod is its application of weight training tension to everyday common movements via an elastic band. Leverage is gained as the bar is extended, increasing the workload on the muscles while keeping the body's movement fluid. And go. One. There we go. Come on. The lightning rod project has gotten a big leg up, but there's still a long road ahead for Denard. Two, three weeks later, I'm down 15 pounds. Three, four weeks after that, I'm down 35 pounds. My blood pressure is now in check. That's what I'm talking about. It's simple, it's effective. They just have to be motivated. The point is, get moving. Get your body, you're the machine. Not the equipment, you're the machine. Let's make it move. Five, six. Whether nothing ever happens with this product, it did what it was supposed to do. Ten. There we go, there we go. If it helps save my life, and I'm pretty sure it can help save, you know, others as well. What more do you need? That's what I'm talking about. Did you design it? Did you design the rod? The rod, it is a painter's pole. That's awesome. So you need a bit of help with the design? Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of touch up here on design. I like it. It's innovation. It's it's what this business is all about. You guys are a great story. <laughs> You're funny, and it's a it's a real deal. I mean, you don't want to lose your best friends. I know about that, you know, and um, 
I think we should uh, help you take it to the next level. Yeah. All right. For sure. Let's roll. In the name of my man, Billy Mays, let's do it. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> He had him in there exercise, that's why he's sweating. But that's currency y'all see up there, folks. <laughs> that's currency. <laughs> Along with a little emotion because he made it out of love. Oh, my man. I love you, man. Coming up, the lightning rod is put to the test. This is intense. Oh my God. And another inventor's cool idea has Sully hooked. Nice! Back in Tampa, Sully continues his search for a new product with a quick run through some inventor DVD submissions. Coolcaster, it's a brand new casting device that lets you fish up to 200 feet from shore. Adults and kids alike can enjoy using the Coolcaster. Now if you toss a disc, you can catch that big fish. He always talks like this the whole time. You just toss the disc, the disc hits water, drops your line every time. Every time. It's good, though. It's good energy. Now you don't need the expenses of an expensive boat, truck, Whoa. and trailer to be able to fish far away from shore. And then what you do, you just pull up on it, and when you reel it in, it flips up over like a boat. It's that simple and easy. That's an interesting product. The Cool Costa looks like it's fun. I mean, people love to fish. It's a huge category. I have a hard time believing it actually works and catches fish. I'll look into that. I'm hooked. <laughs> Inventor and all-around fishing enthusiast Craig Dockel lives a quiet life in Centennial, Colorado. I started fishing probably when I was a kid. My dad used to take me up to the mountains and we started doing some fly fishing. We used to get up actually pretty really early in the morning to go out near Buena Vista, which is about a three or four hour drive. So we used to go out there in the mornings, even go out there sometime with another friend and um, their son and go camping. So that was a lot of fun, a lot of good memories. It was Craig's love for fishing that sparked his original idea for the Coolcaster. Well, I was on a boat with some buddies and we were watching different people trying to fish, get their line out far, watching this guy going out into the water with some waders on, you know, going out about 15 to 20 feet. He slipped off this rock and he started laughing, thinking, of, well, there's gotta be a better way to get your line out there. So Craig set up shop in his basement and got to work. This is your bait holder, drops your lure every time. It's that simple and easy. The key to the cool caster is the bait holder that Craig designed out of a small piece of plastic pipe. As the cool caster coasts above the water, the bait holder is held in place by centrifugal force. When it hits the water, the disc stops spinning and gravity takes over, pulling the tube down and releasing the bait into the water. So it took five years to get my patent. You get this little pamphlet book with a little logo label on the front of it and everything, and, and you look through it and you start seeing how many pages ago I spent how many thousands of dollars for this, but it, it's awesome to have that. But what started as a hobby soon turned into a financial sinkhole. I've done some different things over the years to make a living. One is driving a Zamboni. It was for a major hockey team here in Denver. I did that for a while. I went into real estate. Did that for some years, and then the economy got bad, so I'm unemployed. Out of work and in debt, Craig hopes that with Sully's backing, the Coolcaster can finally bring him financial freedom. I still have faith and belief that it's it's going to sell. And a lot of people go fishing, and if they don't catch a fish, they're still having a good time with the Coolcaster, and they're getting away from everything. I mean, they're just kind of chilling, relaxing, making thoughts and maybe coming up with an idea. <laughs> While things are looking up for Craig and his cool caster, back in LA, Kennedy heads out to do some R&D on the lightning rod. We are at Revolution Fitness. I've got the lightning bolt. I met these guys at the Pitchathon. Loved their story. Track coach and inventor Eric Thompson created the lightning rod to help his dangerously overweight friend start getting healthy. So we're going to take this invention to some really fit people and test it out to see if lightning strikes. Now the pro trainers put the prototype through its paces. Now what does that do when he presses up like that? That's working the front of his shoulders. This is intense on my abs. Am I giving you enough resistance, Chris? Oh, yeah, plenty. Definitely feeling it. Oh, hold on to that. I just want you to do a regular row from there. Okay. All we need to do is 
Jen is, Jen is in the best shape of anyone I know. It's nice to see that she is having a challenge with this. Even Kennedy takes it for a test run. Do you feel that in those obliques? Yeah, I feel inside. that on my right side in the obliques. Yeah. Can you lift your left leg up now, too, while you do this? Woo, girl. Now you get in the booty. This yeah. is a booty burner. It needs to. Shorten the nose. Wow. Shorten the nose. Our lightning rod has broken. This is what we call a prototype. So if they fix everything, what's good about it? that it is versatile. You can work every bit of range that you need to in order to do functional training. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate the lightning rod? I would give it, you know, seven with potential. I would say probably a five and a half, six. I'm not 100% safe using this. So if Sully's gonna sell this on TV, what's the most you would pay for it, Brian? I'd say 40 bucks. 19.99. At the most, 30. Is this the one invention answer to weight loss and being fit? I don't think so. Yeah. Right. But is it a step there? Sure. Sure. It would be a, another tool in your toolbox. What you said today can really help make this a great, great invention. I'm going to take it all back to Sully. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Back in Tampa. I don't know that much about fishing, but I do know a cool product when I see one. With production manager Pete in tow, Sully will put the cool caster to the test in his own backyard. Fade it up, buddy. Is it alive? Yeah. Dude, knock it off. The shrimp is barely alive, but he's in there. He's comfortable. You okay, little shrimp? Ready to go for a spin? And I'm not joking. Watch this, Pete. This is how you do it. <laughs> I think this is my casting technique sucks. Nice! Ready? Nice. That was a good one. There's no way on God's great earth I could have cast that that far. That's a nice cast. That's pretty good. But how do you know the shrimp isn't still in the disc? Well, we're relying on the uh, the technology of the cool caster to provide that, you know? The centrifugal force keeps the bait in there, but I think I lodged my shrimp in a little bit too hard. It did fly pretty good, though, so I'll give it that. <sighs> oh, now, give me a close-up. Me... <laughs> you got a boat. I got a boat. You... <laughs> OK, I'll get it. I'll get it. Can you even get it? <laughs> oh my god, I got an Englishman! I got an Englishman! Well, that was interesting. Can't beat that. I got something on there, bud. Finally, yeah. What do you got? I don't know what it is. Besides a boat. Oh, we got something! It's a pike! <laughs> that would be a catfish. Hey. You caught a boat? And you got a catfish. And we got one English. And I'm soaking wet. Well, we'll throw it back and maybe we can try the cool castle and maybe put a show together for it. All right, let's do it. Nice. You're going in next time. Up next, Craig's cool caster gets a do or die test. If it doesn't go down, there's no commercial. <laughs> and a world renowned inventor gets schooled by Sully. I think you're positioning it wrong. After a fantastic yeah, fishing nice. field test. Nice! I just good eating, dude. Sully invites cool caster inventor Craig Dockel to Tampa to pitch his product to potential investor Bill McAllister. I sent this video into Sully. It's a branded casting device that lets you fish up to 200 feet from shore. It's that simple and easy. And he actually saw the video and he liked it, so I was really excited to hear that. It means a lot for me to be here today. Over all these years, putting it together, a lot of people tell you that's a dream, but you gotta stick with it and then make it happen. And when you have the product in your hand and you get to take it each step one day at a time, you'll get there and make it happen, and that's why I'm here today. How's your flight in for them, all right? It was great. This is my house, this is where I live. I want a house just like this one day. We'll try and make that happen for you. Anyway, the reason why you're here, I've got someone I'd like you to meet, a friend of mine, an associate. This is Bill McAllister of Media Enterprises. <laughs> Craig Dockle, nice hey, to meet Craig, you, Hey, Craig, nice to meet you. Bill McAllister is the driving force behind the Mighty brand and a massive lineup of hit products. If the cool caster hooks Bill, Craig could have a major money man bankrolling his infomercial. Well, the cool caster is a casting device that lets you fish over 150 feet from shore. And what, what is this yellow thing here? 
Okay, actually, that's a glow stick, so you can also fish at night. It's cool to see it when it's well, spinning at night. that's pretty cool by itself, to be able, the fact you can even fish at night yeah, because of that. Yeah, it's a different hook on fishing. It really is. What are, your, what are your thoughts? Well, I think you put fun back into fishing. Everyone has fun when they throw a disc. I mean, it's so the half of it's throwing. Family, fishing, and fun. That's Absolutely. It. Let me ask you a question. How long have you been working on this project? Bill, I've been working on this for 10 years. 10 years. So what would it mean to you if we, Sully and I decided, hey, we're going to do this? You know, if you said yes to this today, I'd be so excited. I'd probably I'll jump into it. that pool right now. Really well, what do you what do you what do you think, Bill? I, I mean, think at the know, end of the day, it's it's a flying disc with some fishing one on it. I actually want to see. My only question is okay. this: is does this drop down and does it come out? This is the thing that bugged me when we tested it because you toss it out uh -huh. and you don't know. You don't know, <laughs> and you're just sitting there staring at this thing going, "Did it drop down?" Right. So I think right. I'll get my camera, got a little water housing. We should make doing the commercial contingent. Absolutely. Is that a That's deal? That's a deal. Okay. Ready? Okay. If it doesn't go down, there's no commercial. <laughs> That's a deal. Ready, Bill? I'm ready. Three, two, one, action. Did it drop? Okay, rewind. Photographic evidence. See, here it comes the throw, here comes the throw. Got it. We got you it. You got a commercial. You are getting wet. Hey, get in there, bro. Get there. <laughs> That's great. I did have a successful meeting. It was great. They're going to take it to the next step, which I've been waiting for a decade, basically, for it to happen, and they're going to make it happen. The next day, Sully and Kennedy take a special pitch from a renowned surgical inventor. My name is Terry Bielna, and my product is the Tide Pod tarping system. I have a meeting today with Solly, and I'm uh, hopeful he will help me take it to the next level. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. Can I call you Solly? Yep, Anthony Sullivan. Nice to meet you. Call me Solly, and this is Kennedy. Hi, Hi Kennedy. Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Who? You're an inventor. Mm. I'm an inventor. What's in the box? I have the first commercially available tarping system. And so the basis of it is, this little critter right here, this is the uh, suction tie down. And that's locked into place. That's locked into place. Uh, the technology is based on the. Uh, that's pretty, that's, okay. that's some, pretty something. Mm. Mm. Do um, you have um, the whole system outside? I, I'd love to show you the whole system. Yeah. This is it. All right. This is the tarp system. The idea behind it is the rope uh, is integral to the tarp. And as you pull the rope tight, it cinches down like a drawstring. So if I want to tighten that, right? There's a well. There's a knot. Unlock it, and then you kind of. Wow, this is a pretty good seal. That's amazing. It's similar to a ski boot. And, and then that comes down, and that locks into place. It's very clever. I'm Terry, and I live in Santa Barbara with my dog Nara. For inventor Terry Bulna, innovation has been his lifelong passion. I was an aerospace engineer initially, uh, worked on the space shuttle, spent about a year doing that, and then I went into medical devices, which resulted in probably 30, 35 patents uh, to the state and maybe five to 10 products still being used on a regular basis. One of which is the gold standard for sternum saws used in cardiovascular surgery. So I invented a saw, which is the sternum saw, and it's an air-powered orthopedic uh, reciprocating saw. My mother had, uh, had four blockages uh, in, her, in her coronaries. It was a tough time for us. When my mom had found out that the uh, saw that I had invented was the, uh, the device they were going to use on her uh, to save her life, uh, it, it, was, it was the most amazing point that I, I've ever experienced. And then she proceeded to tell everybody and anybody that would listen to her uh, <laughs> the story. <laughs> With the success of his surgical saw, Terry retired and pursued other business ventures, one of which led to his next invention. I was buying and, and flipping houses. And so during the construction phase, um, I did a lot of runs to the dump. And it was inevitable. By the time I get to the dump, 
tarps halfway on the road. It just occurred to me at that time, it's like, well, why hasn't somebody come up with a tarping system? I mean, it just, it seems like so obvious. So the, the thinking was, let's bring the tarp over the side and then figure out some way to keep it down. Watching these construction guys lift tons of granite and heavy glass with suction lifters, that seemed to be the obvious. And if it can lift 500 pounds, it can definitely hold the tarp down. So almost three years and about $300,000 later, here we are today. If you want my honest opinion, sure. Um, we're looking for products with, with broad appeal, mass market mm -hmm. appeal that can be used every single day. Um, and I think you're positioning it wrong. Yeah. I think we just, I think, I think the money here is, is in the tie pod. While I think this is great, for, for tops, right. I think you got to go right. What about all the rest of the people out there that could use this? So I think you, I think this is sold by itself in a set of two, in a set of four. It's a good That's item. A good point. I like it. I think yeah. what I'd like to do is test it, come up with some uses, and um, see what we can do. All right? Absolutely. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great demonstration, sir. Thank you, Candy. I pitched it to Solly and Kennedy, and I walked in with one product, and I think I came out with another. It's fantastic. I think we have the ticket. Now we gotta make sure that the lottery comes through. In 1968, the U.S. Navy spent almost $400,000 to study the flight pattern of this toy. Was it the wiffle ball, the frisbee, the boomerang, or the lawn dart? The aerodynamics of this toy, which originated as a pie tin tossed between husband and wife, was studied for years by the U.S. Navy Space Age Research Department. Originally called the Pluto Platter, it is sold over 200 million units. It's called the Frisbee. After initial tests and positive feedback, Sully has decided to help move the lightning rod forward. I don't know if it's going to pan out or not, but I'd really like to see if we could do something with your invention, and I'd like to do something with the two of you. I think, I know a few people in the fitness industry, and I'm going to try and make something happen, all right? Awesome. That sounds like a plan, man. All we need is an opportunity. As plans get underway for the lightning rod, inventor Terry Buhlna experiments with the strength of his creation, the tie pod. I, I've been a tinkerer from since I can remember. It seems like everything I do, I always find a, a better way to do it. The tie pod functions on suction-based vacuum technology. By activating the lever, the internal volume of force increases as the flat polyurethane base becomes concave. The internal volume then creates a vacuum, which holds the tie pod securely in place. Max is 100 pounds, and we're at 110. 120. 120. The tie pods are ready for Sully to put them to the test. After my last meeting with Terry, I asked him to perfect the design of the tie pod. So now I gotta do my homework and come up with a big list of things you can do with it. Helping out is production manager Pete and a freshly shaven Billy Mays the third. What about the, the face there, buddy? You're looking a little young. <laughs> What happened there? Uh, I don't know. I, Bad I got, Nick. I got in a fight with a razor blade and, <laughs> and you lost. One, so. <laughs> nice. You got any ideas for this? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm striking out, buddy. You know, we were talking about maybe you know doing some of those you know those powerful glue demos where they hang a man from a building overhead I'm or not something being like that. From a building. It's not Spider-Man. Come on, man. Spider saw. What about there? What? Got one uh, boat the boat right there. You want a wake ball behind that? No, I don't want to. You should. But, you know, we'll put this up on the side. And... Is this your idea? I think it's a great idea. All right, let's do it. Nice. The team gets revved up for a test that will be fun, but also demanding. Uh, they do 60 each. So then how many of those lines do you have? I have two like this. OK, One good. Are you going to put them? Put them like angle them like that. Toe them in a little bit. It's physics, buddy. Look, Derek, do this one. If you're flying in the uh, air like a kite, I promise I'll slow it down to 40. Whose idea was this? Hit it!
This extreme test will push the tie pods to the limit. Sully's weight plus the pull from the water puts over 300 pounds of force on the line. After 11 minutes, the tie pods are holding strong. We had a little malfunction. One of the uh, one side came off, but he was being held up just by one side. So I'm impressed. I can't say that's something I've done every day. It, it, you know, it's funny. You felt, well. I felt them popping. That was, I mean, it worked pretty good. Yeah, yeah, me too. <sighs> well, um, that went better than I expected. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. They said they hold 60 pounds each. That's what we used for, you know what I mean? I think it's just an angle thing. If it was four dispersed, it definitely worked. It even worked with two on there. I'm 220 pounds, and it managed to hold me wakeboarding, but it pretty much popped off eventually. And it's okay if it pops off here, because I just end up getting wet. But if you've got something tied to the roof of your car, or a trailer, or a pickup truck, and it pops off, next thing you've got a piece of furniture cartwheeling down the freeway. It's a good product. I just don't know if I can put stamp the Sully seal of approval on it. You know? Coming up next. Pretty cool. Sully puts tie pods through further tests. The day arrives for the Coolcaster infomercial shoot. Nothing's faster than the Coolcaster. As Sully and Bill get to work, Craig knows what's at stake. Without a job and his savings spent, today is a make or break moment. Today's one of the most important days of my life. I've put all my money into this, all my time, and it's hard to believe that someone like Anthony Sullivan's actually pitching my product. We're at Pete, my production manager's house today. Um, he happens to have a lake in his backyard, which is super convenient. It's a cool caster's day in the sun. It's gonna sell, I'm telling you, I can feel it. I come from a nation of fishermen, man. I know a good fishing park when I see <laughs> one. And action. Hi, Anthony Sullivan here for the cool caster. The flying disc that puts a new spin on fishing. Nothing's faster than the cool caster. It flies like a plane, and when it lands, it ripples, which attracts the fish. That was sweet, brother. That was that great. Was good. That was nice. good. It was great. That was nice. It was. I thought it looked unbelievable. And what are the claim was... we're making on the on the toss? What are we saying? Three times farther than the line? We're saying it goes three times further than if you were casting it by yourself, which it does. When you did it, you went all the way across to the other side of the pond. That's my job. And I, well, I know that is. <laughs> Down. Hi, Anthony Sullivan here for the Cool Caster, the flying disc that puts a new spin on fishing. People love to fish, and fishing is, is one of the most loved sports in the world, and this is a new angle on it. You may be just one throw away from the biggest catch of your life. Holy That's a wrap. Nice work. All right. Nice. Good job. Good job. Everything looks fabulous. All the energy and effort I put in over the years, no matter what happens, this has all been amazing. All right, ready? I just say fishing. Fishing. The next day, Sully and Kennedy hit the beach to see if Terry's tie pods will hold up under pressure. All right, this looks like a perfect truck for a couple yeah. of tie pods. Hey, man. What's going on? Good How are you? Good. I'm Sully. Sully, Bob. Nice to meet you. Hi, Bob. This is Kennedy. Kennedy. Good morning. Well, we have a new invention here. And judging from your truck, you're an active guy, which means you might be a perfect guinea pig for an invention called tie pods. When you stick it to a flat surface, it's kind of got to be clean and then you lock it into place, and I don't know how much it'll hold, but basically you've got to... Look at that, Bob. Pull on it. Really give it something. I could use that. Nice. The board gets banged up on everything. If I could hang this, let's set it up. Let's see if it'll work. One, and two... And if you've got a need for something like this, you're going to know it right away. 
And if you're a camping or if you're an RV guy or if you just want to get a little extra space going, or if you're Bob, a nautical I'm, Norman like I'm Bob, a, I'm impressed here. No, Bob, he's going to pop his windows inside the truck. Here's the test. All right, let's see it. Is that what they call a fish, Bob? It is. You know what? That is pretty cool. That's great. That is. All right, let's leave that up and see if we can find another use for it. What are their names? Daisy, Peanut, and Stoli. Cute. Well, listen, you got a minute to sure. check out a new product? Sure. Is that something you could put, like, here and not just here? You can put it wherever you want. You guys, go nuts. <laughs> if you find a smooth, flat surface that'll hold the tie pod, suction away. I mean, you got three dogs, right? So, I mean, you got more than you, you got your hands full. <laughs> Look at Woo! that, guys. Wow, look at that! What do you think? Pretty cool. I mean, it frees up your hands, right? If you weren't paying the dogs back yeah. before. Say you don't have a coat hanger, but you have another strap. You want to hang up your suits, your towels. You just hook the strap onto the tie pod. You flop your suit over it. That's a good idea, too. You got a hang line. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> What do you think of it as a product? It, it's fun. You know, I mean, it's unusual enough. It's fun. It looks like it's strong enough to use for these sorts of things. How would you rate it out of 10? Uh, it's innovative, and nobody else has one. I'd give it a 7.5 or right. 8. Right. As a roof rack, what would you give it? <laughs> as a roof rack, I'm not going to use it. I like that it's just portable. You can take it with your friends. I'm an honest person. I'm going to have to say 8. All right, an 8 is good. Yeah, it's good. And how would you rate it as a product? 10, definitely. I mean, I've needed something like this for a long time and couldn't figure out how to rig something up because nothing will fit through the handle. Yeah. With the Tide Pod's strengths and weaknesses coming into focus, Sully and Kennedy are ready to meet with Terry to give him the results. I've had enough. I'm going surfing. All Good right, luck. Sully. All right. Okay. I'm going to stay here with the yeah. Tide Pods. Keep, keep working. See if you can find another couple uses for it, all right? Keep living the dream, buddy. I will. Don't worry. I'm excited to see what happens with Sully. I hope the focus group went well. I hope Sully did his homework because uh, I think we really have something here. Terry's coming in today and I have some news for him that's very unique. In the 15 or 20 years that I've been doing this, I've never had the opportunity to tell an inventor what I'm about to tell Terry. Hey. Hey. Hi, Sully. Good How are you? you? Kennedy, nice seeing you again. Yeah. Take your Thanks. seat. Take your seat. How's the tricks? Oh, good. I'm just anxious to hear what happened. Well, I got some news, actually, and it's, um... Um, we focus grouped this. We had a lot of fun with it, and, um, just... I ended up taking it to, uh, a lot of the people I do business with. I mean, I might as well just come right out with it right now the biggest warehouse chain in the country has agreed to take this product without even us shooting a TV commercial. But wait, there's more. Also, the biggest shopping channel in the country as well has already agreed to put it on the air as well. Yes! This is a million dollar idea, it really is. So it's good news all around, my man. That's congratulations. Fantastic. Thank you so much. No, no, You're congratulations going. to you. Good Thank you. product. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Great it. results. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well done, Terry. Unbelievable. You know, when I started this whole mission, I, I had a couple goals, and, and uh, I got them. Unbelievable. Coming up, Sully has a promise to keep for Detroit inventors Eric and Denard. You're in the presence of fitness greatness. Back in Tampa, Sully has set up a meeting between lightning rod inventor Eric Thompson and fitness brand CEO Michael Casey in hopes that lightning will strike a business deal. I think they've been in the room now for probably close to 20 minutes, so I'm going to call them up and see what happens. Well, what's up? Hey, what's up, Eric? What's up, Denard? How are you guys? Oh, I'm good, Sully. Listen, um, I don't know if you know this, but you're in the presence of fitness greatness. <laughs> uh, this guy has sold more fitness machines than anyone on the face of the planet. 
Old friend and fitness guru Michael Casey owns the company behind the smash hit Ab Circle Pro, which has sold over 2 million units. So what I wanted to do is put you guys in the same room and, um, you know, let's make it or break it. What's your first impression, buddy? Unbelievable. I, I felt the burn immediately, Sully, and that's the deal. So I'm in. You, it's, it's that simple? I like to keep things simple. What I think is the key to this is if we chronicle his weight loss, and we, and six months later, we put these guys in and we follow him and this, and he stands there and says, look at me before, look at me now. This is our boy right here. He's already down 35. I think he can get down 135. Oh, yeah. And then we got something where the phones are gonna blow up. Denard, Eric, I'm glad you made the drive. You got the best man in the business with you right there. Congratulations. And have a safe journey back to Detroit, all right? Hey, Thanks a lot, buddy. Sully, buddy. With Michael's expertise and Sully's pitching skills, Lightning Rod could find its way to millions of users and become a huge success for Eric and Denard. Things are looking up for those two. They really are. The time for America to vote on the cool caster has come. Throw up the throw up the throw. Coolcaster is fun for the whole family. Sully and Mighty Brand CEO Bill McAllister convene at the command center to watch the spot go live. Nothing's faster than the Coolcaster. It flies like a plane, and when it lands, it ripples, which attracts the fish. The numbers roll in, and inventor Craig Dockel's financial future is on the line. It's been a couple of months. Sully called. I'm back. And I hopefully have some great news, but I'm really anxious. I don't know which way it's going to go, but I'm going to find out. Well, the reason I brought you here is because this is a significant place. At that table right there, that's where we made uh, our deal for the Coolcaster. You remember? Yes, we did. Well, we tested the commercial, and I have some results. They are good. Really? They're good. That's good news. They all good. That's man. it. You got a hit, buddy. All right. Thank you very much. No, are you great. listening to me? That's. Do you hear me right now? Are you listening? You have a hit. Do you know how many people have a hit in this industry? This like, is awesome. This many. This is a big day. This is the biggest day of my life. How you feeling? It's great. I mean, it feels so good to be here. I want you and to remember this. I want you to remember out. that yeah. table. I want you to remember this conversation. I want you to think of the journey that the cool caster has taken you on. You got a hit. All right. All right. Well, the cool caster. It's it. Gonna catch me more than a few fish, my friend. For every dollar spent on advertising, Coolcaster is generating over $2.5 in revenue. And Sully plans to roll the commercial out nationwide. It it's time to celebrate. A little champagne. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Yay! All right. Here we go. Poor man. That was a little explosive there. Uh, yeah, to the Coolcaster, buddy. Coolcaster. Okay. I never thought in a million years I'd be sitting right here on Sully's dock next to his boat, drinking champagne with him and tossing cool casters. And he's telling me it's great news that's going to move forward and, and keep selling. And I'm, I'm, it's, it's the best day of my life, actually. To the cool caster. Nice. You outcast me again. Look at that. The inventor beats the pitch man every single time. Just having this type of you know, venue going on with the product and, and with the pitch man, you know, it's, it's actually a blessing to inventors like Eric and myself. To me, that's the world. Sully, we appreciate what you're trying to do for us, man. We're not gonna let you down. You come through on your end, we're gonna come through on ours. We're gonna do this, Nard. We're He's gonna a... do it. It's gonna work. Everybody's gonna wanna use it. There we go. I'm happy, very happy.
What I would like is something to get the, the can from on the floor, because there's a lot of bending right there. If you load up your car, instead of having five trips to the bottles, people, you go once a month. You load up your car, but most people, the recycling in my neighbor comes to the house. Yeah, mine too. Now it wants to make it more difficult. Go ahead and extend. Extend the pole out a little bit. Simply do to leverage and go. Now you don't, once again, my thing is I didn't want to make it difficult. It's the bicep curl. With the overhead press. Damn. <sighs> work for me, work for me, come on. Work for me, work for me, let's get it off. Work for me. Excellent. This is the big fish. Just like you're on the boat, marlin fishing. <laughs> now what you have in here, he's working his lats, his hip flexors, and as you see his core gets in there. His delts have to stabilize his words. I love this. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, I know I told you this is a day Stay off. Up. But it's never a day off for This is the latest, greatest. When it comes to fishing, you use this stuff, it'll go from this big to this big. This is for um, mosquitoes? No, this is for beer and bait. That's the um the oh, leverage. That goes kick. on the pole. Uh, looks like this one's a um, double hook. They call it the gotcha hook. Looks like two hooks on a spring of some sort. The wicket strike. Liquid attracting dispensing. So what the f is that? This, I think this may be the one. The original flying disc for fish. I like this one the best. All right, that's the box. All right, there you go. Let's bro. hook, line them, and sink them. Yeah, like that. Good off on the back. Dude, it's easy to just buy fish at the market and catch them. That's kind of cool. Good idea. Ready? Let it, now reel it up a little bit. How are you making out with the, the pole holder? I'm like a new man. I can totally see that being good though, all day with your wrist. Oh, 100%. See, if, you know, if I was here pulling our fish, it's definitely going to give me a huge hand of leverage getting this fish up. But here, then, when you don't need it, you, you know, put it out of the way. Think... Yeah, right now, right now I'm striking out. I've been fishing with this little guy. Right now, I give it a zero out of 10 for, for catching fish, but maybe maybe it's my technique. So, so far, we've caught zip. And we've got one, two, three, four inventions out there. So um, if the proof of the pudding is in the eating, the proof of the fishing is in the catching. <laughs> I like this thing. I mean, I don't know anything about fishing, but if I did fish, I would use this on my boat because I don't have anywhere to put a rod on my boat, period. What are you doing? Oh, yes! We got something! Oh. Small. Let me put my thing on. Perch. Double uh, hook, looks right? like it caught it on the double hook. Nice. Put it... No, <laughs> stop it! Put it back in. Keep it. Keep Keep it up. Up. Wait, reel it in, reel it in. Go, Billy. It's the big one. Get the net. Yeah, the Billy Club. The biggest one Get the gaff. Day. Get the gaff. Take it off. Take it off. I'm not taking it off. You have to, or you're just killing it, bro. It's not breathing. What do I do? It's your tough. Is it going to bite me? Oh, it's not going to bite you. Grab it downwards. Grab it downwards. I'm not touching that thing. No, grab it like downwards like that, OK? Ow! See? Look at that All right. Got one on here. What are you using? What are you using, buddy? This has got the double hook on this one. It's a grouper. It's a grouper, right? Yeah. Nice. That's, that's that, that double hook uh, again. That's that, that's that double hook, right? They yep. like that. Twice. Was that one? Without doubt, that is the star product of the day. Just to test all the products that we get sent, and this was a great opportunity to come down with Pete and Billy and hang out and fish. Um, it's beautiful down here in Tampa, and we got to test a few products. All the products are very legitimate, but whether they actually have, whether they can actually stand on their own two feet, you know, remains to be seen. 
but the gotcha hooks definitely is an item. I think we need to retest the cool caster off a lake, off a dock, off a bridge, and see if it works, because the, the, the physics are great. I mean, it makes sense. But, I mean, out here, we don't need it, because we're in 50 feet of water. And... And today, Craig arrives at Sullivan Productions for a script meeting. What I want to do is basically just read through this okay. and then get your input, see what you think. Is casting too complicated? Wish you could get your line out further? Hi, Anthony Sullivan here for the Cool Caster. The Cool Caster has been specially designed to cast a line out three times farther than a normal cast. Nothing's faster than the Cool Caster. Even beginners or kids can cast over 150 feet out. When you catch the big one, and I mean the big one, the cool caster flips over and hydroplanes back to shore. Throw after throw after throw, cool caster is fun for the whole family. And I really want to keep this emphasized on family, the three Fs, fun, family, and fishing. That's what it's all about. What I want to do, if it's cool with you, is do the cool caster, okay, for just $10. But cool now will include the pole holder and the glow stick, a $10 value, yours free. That's great. But I'm not done. I'm just getting wait, started. Wait, there's some more? No, nope, but order right now, <laughs> and I'll double this entire offer. Just pay separate processing and handling. That means you get two cool casters, two pole holders, and two glow sticks, all for just $10. For $10. For $10. That's, $10. that's great. But you got to call now. Right now, people are hurting out there, so we want to bring fun back to the family, put the fun back into fishing, and do a $10 price point. I know you're probably having a heart attack, but we'll bring the price point down, but we'll also test $14.99 and $19.99. Right. And whichever one works, because basically, the people that buy the product, they dictate what it's gonna sell for. Okay. You think it's worth 20 bucks, I think it's worth 25 bucks. Mm -hmm. It's the kid who's gonna go, hey dad, I want that, and, and they're gonna tell you what they're gonna pay for it. So we'll test every single price point known to man until we get the one that works for the fisherman. Um, What's good about that too, if you get families with two or three kids and they'll buy more, so. Buy more. Let's cast a net over the entire fishing industry with the cool caster. Sounds right. great. Okay, you fired up? Fired up big time. All right. See you tomorrow. Listen, get some rest. All, all right, right, sounds good. All right. Have a good night. It was a great script meeting, so I can't wait till tomorrow to see what the final shoot is. Looks like a little, just a little bit of a cluster. Uh, <laughs> a little bit. This looks dangerous and scary. Well, it looks like you got the umbrella on here, you got a towel and a bicycle. Just, I mean, this is all about to fall. No. I want you to check out this new product and see what you think. We're doing a little field test down there today. Um, we got a new product called Tie Pods. Before we sell it, we'll check it out. Check it out. We need to test it. We need to see if there are flaws. We need to see if it's perfect. And you guys need to help us with this test. Are you up for it? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Great. Yeah. All right. How many do you think we could uh, we could use it? Four? I think you could use three and get away with it. I think one on the bottom, two, one there, yeah, one there. Two and one. 